Hi, welcome to the Stratford School Academy tutorial on how to upload an assignment through Microsoft Teams. One of the most frequently asked questions from students since we've launched Microsoft Teams has been how to upload an assignment through Microsoft Teams. Therefore, this tutorial is going to go through how you can upload an assignment and work through Microsoft Teams. You can also find more detailed guidance on all student functions to do with Microsoft Teams in the Student Guide to Microsoft Teams, which can be found on the school website and has also been sent out to students. In order to use Microsoft Teams, the first thing you need to do is you need to launch the Microsoft Teams application. You can do that in a couple of ways. The way I'm going to show you is how to do it through a web browser, so through a search engine. I'm using Google for the purposes of this demonstration. The first thing you need to do is just type Microsoft Teams into the search engine of Google or whichever search engine you use. Once you've typed that in, okay, the first link that will come up through Google or most search engines will be a direct link to Microsoft Teams. Please click on that link. It will then give you two options. One is to sign up for free, the other one is to sign in. If you click on sign in, it will take you to this next screen. Now, my email address is already put into the screen and put into this option here, and that's simply because I've already logged in previously. You will be required to type your school email address in. Okay, once you've typed your school email address in, it will then ask you to enter your password. The password you enter will be the password you use to log on to computers at school. So I'm going to put my school password in. And that should bring me into Microsoft Teams. It gives me the option here to, if, to ask if I want to stay signed in. I will say yes, just because it will make it easier for me to come back in at a future time. You now get two options. Get the Windows app or use the web app instead. If you get the Windows app, that will download the Microsoft Teams application onto your desktop. If you are using a laptop or a computer, it will download it onto your phone or your um, tablet if you're using a tablet. I'm going to use the web-based app instead today so that I can continue using it through the web browser. Okay. Now, the view it's got on here is not the um, default view, so I'm going to switch it to the default view. You don't need to do this. It will automatically have this in the default setting for you. You will see that there are several different teams I am already part of. You will also see in the left hand side that there is a, an at sign in red. That tells me that notifications or assignments have been set within the teams that I am part of. When I say teams, for your purposes, I mean the classes you are a part of. Just click into teams and it will bring you to um, all of the different teams you are part of. Now you will see here there's a little red dot with one in it and another red dot with one in it. That's telling you that there is an assignment that has been posted in each of those classes so that you should go into those classes and view those assignments. Now I'm going to go to an English class because I've already seen in this English class that an assignment was posted earlier in the week. So it doesn't have a little red dot next to it because I've already seen this notification. I'm just going to go back into it so that I can now complete the work within the deadline set. If I click into it, it takes me to the um, classroom within Teams. Okay, It brings me to the post section. If I look up, I can see that there is an assignment. I want to complete this assignment so that I don't miss the deadline. So I click on View Assignment. When I click on View Assignment, it takes me to this screen. OK, there are a set of instructions which you will find here. You must read the instructions. This tells me that the, what I'm doing is an assignment on the Kite Runner. It's asked me to download the PowerPoint and complete the tasks as instructed on the slides in the PowerPoint. So what you would need to do is download this PowerPoint here. OK, and if you download this PowerPoint, you just click on these three dots here and click download. You download the PowerPoint and then you watch the PowerPoint and it will show you um, the exact instructions and what you need to do to complete the work set. Now, 
let's assume that I have downloaded and opened the PowerPoint and looked at the work that has been set. I now know that I need to answer a question so that I can hand in my work. All right. In order to hand in the work, I need to complete the work. It says here that you must complete the work on a Word document. OK, so I need to complete the work on a Word document. In order to do that, I need to go to the Add to My Work section and click on Add Work. When I click on Add Work, it will give me several options to allow me to complete the work on a Word document. So if I click Add Work, it gives me several options. What I need to click on is New File. And now it asks me to choose which type of file I want. The instructions that the English department has set for me are to use a Word document. So I'm going to choose the Word document file type. I need to give it a name. The assessment's called the, the Kite Runner. So I'm going to write the Kite Runner as the name. And then I just click Attach. And what that does is under reference materials and under my work, I've got a blank Microsoft Word document. Now, I still need to complete my work. So in order to complete my work, I click in to the Word document. And it brings up a blank document. I need to complete work on this document. So I just click on Edit Document. I click Edit. And now I can write and type into this document. So this is on the Kite Runner. Now, I'm assuming that with the instructions, you have been asked to answer a question. If you've been asked to answer a question, you complete the question by typing your answer to the question here. So you type the answer to the, to the question here. I'm just doing this as an example. Obviously, if you are answering the question, you would answer it in full sentences in the structure which has been set out by your teacher. Once you've completed the question and you feel like you've answered the question to the best of your ability, you then just click close and it saves automatically. It will automatically save the assignment for you. Okay. If you look down, my work is here. My work sets out that the Kite Runner has been saved there. So it's been saved. I've read the PowerPoint. I've been listened to the narration by my teacher. I've completed the work set in a Word document. I now need to hand this document in. In order to hand the document in, I just press Hand In here. And that hands the document in. That means I have completed this assignment. A notification will be sent to my teacher that the assignment has been completed. The teacher will mark the assignment and have it sent back to you. You will receive a notification asking you to either check the feedback or respond to the feedback in some way, shape or form. But that is how you submit an assignment through Microsoft Teams. That is how you upload a Word document through Microsoft Teams. And that brings me to the end of this tutorial. Thank you.